Hey, it's Dame Nicola, and I want to talk to you today about, probably, I don't know, it may not be painful for you, but it is painful for um, many people out there, and that is, why don't people talk about money with their families? I'm not going to say, this is nowhere near about me, but I do know that money is probably been you know, taught us, hey, it's the root of all evil. In that standpoint, you might have even heard people and families having arguments about money, breakdowns in families about money. Sometimes it could be even a man who not feeling man enough because he may not feel like he's doing the best by his family by earning enough money. Or women who probably were left as single parents and having to probably do things that they don't even really feel good about for money. Or maybe seeing people work jobs that they hate and the only reason they'd be working it is because of money. So then now money becomes this really interesting topic that don't necessarily bring out the best in all of us. But I believe that it's a time for that to change. Because on the flip side of anything that is undesirable can be something that's very much desirable where money could be that same thing that can bring your money, your family together. Money could be that same thing to allow that mom to have more time to be there when the kids go to school and when they come home. Money can be that thing to allow that husband not to feel embarrassed anymore that he's not making enough of it. If we decide that it's a priority, most of the times the jobs was the priority, but not what we did with the money after we earned it was not a priority. I can tell you something, money is not the root of all evil. Yeah, sure, there's evil people with money and there's evil people without money, but money is good because it allows you to do more good by your family, by yourself. So I can tell you one thing, it doesn't have to be painful. I could remember doors slamming sometime, parents just not vibing because of stresses of life and money continued to be a part of it. But that was because no one was teaching us how to allow the money to work for itself versus us always working for the money. Time for us to stop being exhausted of chasing the dollar and let's learn how to master the dollar.